everybody, it is Hunt Vlog episode 13, I believe, and this might be the last Hunt Vlog this year, I'm not sure how many more times I'm going to be able to get out here, um, I forgot if I said it's uh, December 19th and it's around maybe like 6.20, um, I got in here about 20, 30 minutes ago, sunrise is at 6.50. Today, I think I might, uh, not, I'm not going to shoot anything that walks, but I would like to have some meat in the freezer, so if I do see uh, a doe that's not like a fawn or anything, um, I might take a shot at it, and uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens, and uh, this last episode, or second to last episode, might be the most exciting. So, I will see you guys in another hour. Alright everybody, so it is 8 o'clock. And I have not seen anything, sadly. Uh, so, I'm probably going to get out uh, here in another hour or so. Um, the deer movement this time of year is just not nearly as good as what it used to be. So, there's not... It's not really worth staying past um, 9 or even, I mean I guess you could stay till about 10 o'clock, but still, <sighs> the movement is just not as good. But anyways, um, I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of talk about, uh, you know, my hunting plans for next year, so obviously I'm going to be hunting here next year, but I plan on trying to get access to another private property so I can have two uh, properties that I can hunt. Uh, I can choose between which ones and uh, which that'll be interesting and there'll be a lot of you know habitat improvement type videos and everything so uh, if anybody is you know looking forward to stuff like that then um, stay tuned subscribe because I'm definitely going to be putting out some videos uh, related to habitat improvement, and um, lastly, I uh, I want to pay more attention to um, uh, public land as well. Um, there's a lot of good public land around me, so I find it very odd that I have not taken advantage of it yet, so I'm going to try and do that next year. More specifically, uh, I want to do a velvet a uh, buck hunt on public land next year. I think that'd be really cool, especially because there's a lot of ag fields and everything, and you know they're really easy to pattern around that time of year. So, anyways, uh, I have not seen anything, and I will update you guys in another hour or uh, just when I decide to leave. So, stay tuned. All right, everybody, it's almost nine o'clock. So. I am going to go ahead and start packing up. Did not see anything today, but uh, I am going to uh, grab a SD card out of one of our cameras uh, that I actually have not checked like at all this season, so I'm really interested to see what's on it, so stay tuned. I'm going to share that with you guys in this same video, so... Uh, you guys will either see me in the car or you'll see me uh, at home looking at the trail cam footage. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys then. All right, what is up, everybody? I am back at the house after hunting. A very, very uneventful day, but hopefully this trail cam footage makes up for it a little bit. Um, have not checked this trail camera since at least the 16th of October. So haven't seen the pre-rut, haven't seen the rut, haven't seen any of that. Um, this this tree stand I didn't hunt in very much, but uh, next year hopefully we can take advantage of it, or we're possibly thinking about moving it and putting it just in a better location. Still the same movement, but just a better location in general. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and look at this. So the first video is at uh, 4:50. On the 16th of October and 
So this camera has not been switched from uh, when daylight savings time happened. I'm not completely sure when, when that happened, but you know, once we start getting into like late November and uh, December, it'll be an hour ahead. So uh, just got to take that into consideration. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first video is a doe just walking by. Cool. Okay, so another thing is we have a licking branch. It's right here where a deer can uh, scrape and everything. And the deer didn't hit it a whole lot until the pre-rut. So, um, or didn't hit scrapes a whole lot until the pre-rut. So we probably won't see uh, a deer hitting this until the pre-rut. So this is 16th of October. Uh, another deer just running. Deer walking by. You see the angle is just a little bit, um, a little bit high. If we had a little bit lower, we'd been able to see a lot more stuff. Oh, here's oh two bucks fighting. Cool. So this is on the 18th of October at 4:33 p.m. I could have been hunting in another stand somewhere, but that's really cool that we got two bucks fighting. Really cool. Really awesome. Hey, there's a nice little. Six pointer, almost a seven pointer. He's walking by again. Nothing, nothing. Little young buck, nighttime again. He's hitting the, hitting the, licking branch. Isn't this really cool? You got two does walking by. Here's that, uh, Six pointer, almost seven pointer again. Who's that? It's a smaller one, I think. Ooh, hello. So this is a buck I think uh, is uh, a buck we call Tyson. Uh, last year he had a split. Uh, brow time, and he was a pretty, pretty nice deer. But this year, it seems like he just grew a little bit. Really nice deer. And so this is at 3 or 9 a.m. on the 1st of November. So this is around when the pre-rut's really starting here in Tennessee. Oh, okay. Another cool buck. I think this buck is... He might just be a three-year-old. I'm not sure. Um, we have seen him before. He's really easy to uh, identify because he's got that uh, wonky G2. And he's just a really cool buck. Uh, hopefully next year we can see more of him. We, didn't, we, we got a couple of daylight photos of him this year, but uh, not very many. I think that's him again. Hmm. And this is another buck. And this one I believe is a buck I call Ian. And he was a normal, he's actually a lot like uh, this buck. He was a lot like this buck. Uh, last year as a three-year-old he didn't have the messed up uh g2 but he he uh, did have similar antler size he's just, he was just a you know perfect eight point this year he's four-year-old and he's got an extra tine on his uh right side so that's cool he's a nine point now he's eight point last year that's him walking cool deer A little buck, daytime, second. Another buck. Don't know what that was. Okay, so this guy is another nine point. I don't know who he is. 
Uh, he's got really tall brow tines, though. Really beautiful deer. So this is 6 p.m. It might be 5 p.m. I'm not sure. I don't know when daylight savings is. Ooh. Ah. Not completely sure who he is either. Very tall antlers, though. Very beautiful deer. So we're nearing the actual rut now. We might actually be in the actual rut. Oh. So this is early in the morning. I think it's that uh, buck that's got the wonky uh, G2. I mean, you can't really tell. Oh, we got that uh, that six point again with the almost seven point. That's cool. This is on the 21st of November. Got a doe hitting our licking ranch. And then we got a nice little, I guess he's probably a three year old. He's a eight pointer. He's got a little interesting rack. Probably be really cool deer next year. Very tall, so interested to see what he turns into. Uh, haven't seen a whole lot of him though. I, I I haven't gone and looked through all of our other cameras yet. It's probably going to be uh, next year. Well, not next year, but it'll probably be uh, after the season's over that I'll get to look at all of them. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to pinpoint some bucks. It looks like I don't know who he is, but he was definitely tracking a doe. I mean, geez. And this is even late, but like he's just sniffing and he's, <laughs> oh boy. Got that seven or six pointer again. And we got more antlers. Don't know who he is. Got another buck. Ooh, pretty deer. He is. I think he. Yeah, he's that nine point that I don't know who he is, or he might be Tyson. I'm not completely sure. But very pretty deer. Very big antlers. Uh, might have been the deer that I saw uh, on episode 10 of Hunt Vlog, if you guys watched that. Very, very beautiful deer. Oop. I think that's the seven, or the six pointer that's almost a seven pointer. This is on the eighth. And there's all, they're all running in line. Crazy. Hmm. Oh boy, this is uh, not what you want to see on your trail cameras, that's for sure. Uh, so, we have some cell cameras that captured these people, and uh, basically we told them during the off-season that they could come on our property to check their fences because they have cows and everything, but... You know, during hunting season, we're not going, we told them that they weren't allowed to do that. And, you know, as a token of good faith and, you know, trusting, we uh, we decided to uh, leave the gate unlocked and everything, and we didn't put a lock on it. Uh, but, obviously, they uh, broke our trust, so we're probably going to be putting a lock on that gate now so yeah if if there's a lesson that can be learned from this uh i guess don't let uh people don't give it all because sometimes uh people are going to take advantage uh we tried to do the right thing we tried to be nice but now we're just 
we're going to have to keep a lock on that gate now. And, you know, they can get upset if they want, but they're just going to have to find a different way to check their fences because, you know, that, that completely messes up our hunting situation. Uh, and actually why I was pulling the card, I saw some trees that, uh, like there was like a fallen tree or something and they had taken a chainsaw to that and it was a big tree. So, you know, they, um, spent probably over an hour, uh, chainsawing that and working on our property and it's just it's just not okay uh and uh, it's it's a shame that that happened and i you know i try to be nice and everything but obviously it's 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 not uh gonna work out that way anymore um so yeah i hope you guys can learn from my situation don't just uh don't don't be too nice. You can be nice, but don't be too nice because people like to take advantage and uh, you'll have stuff like this that happens and it really... I, I have some choice words, but I'm not going to say them on YouTube. But it's, it's very uh, frustrating for something like this to happen. So, And they come back again and it's just... Yeah, it, it's annoying. So that was... 1026 coming back this way and then 1047 uh that's a shame so this is on the 9th of december we got a deer coming in on the 12th so yeah another deer doesn't show up till the 12th uh the 13th it seems like they're mostly just passing by so that's about it and so today is the 19th and so we haven't gotten any footage since then so uh, stuff like that definitely can affect your hunt, and uh, it's just frustrating, but we saw a lot of cool bucks. We saw some uh, pre-rut action. We saw some rut action. It was really cool. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the whole entire, uh, I guess, screening of the trail cam uh, footage. Uh, I know I didn't see much today, and, you know, you know the habitat is just not ideal anymore and everything and you know we we gotta we gotta put some more improvements to try and uh keep that attraction year round but it's just not working out as well uh for us uh late season but it's okay uh we're gonna learn we're gonna grow from it we're gonna try and do better and uh i guess i will see you guys uh in the next video i'm not sure if this is the last hunt vlog if it is then I really appreciate everyone who's watched and everyone who's kept up with it. Uh, it will not be the last hunt vlog ever. It'll just be the last hunt vlog of the season. Next year I'm going to start hunt vlog back up. I think it's a really cool thing. Not a lot of people do it. So uh, I think it just adds a new aspect to hunting and, and you know watching because most people just like to put the you know big buck that they shoot on video, but they don't put all their failures. They don't put all their the hard work and effort that they put into this and so I think it's important that the raw footage I guess gets shown and especially with me with such like a, a novice hunter I am because I have only been hunting for like seriously hunting for like two years now so it, I haven't been hunting very long but I've been doing a lot of research been you know trying to do the right things and uh you know, it, it's, it's starting to get better and, and everything. And I know, you know, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And uh, I, I just appreciate everyone that's watched and everything. And uh, I will see you guys if I'm able to hunt again. I'll see you guys in Hunt Vlog episode 14. But if not, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And I won't, I'll keep, I'll quit rambling. Uh, I just want you guys to make sure you subscribe, like, comment, help my channel grow. It means the world to me. And, uh, I, 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 I will try and find a way to, to pay it back to you guys if, if this channel ever blows up or something, but, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. The next video will be out on Monday. So, uh, stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys later.